Hey, hey, it's Michelle here with your encouraging word for Wednesday. Today, I'm going to be looking at a couple different verses, but the first one is Philippians 127, and it says, whatever happens, Lord, help me to conduct myself in a manner worthy of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Wow. That is such a huge verse for us to really ponder, for us to really store in our heart and to memorize and to live out whatever happens. Lord, help me to conduct myself in a manner worthy of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Wow, that means whatever happens. That means when you have a bad day, when you wake up late, when you go to bed late, when you have to rearrange your plans because something unexpected happens, when you have an unexpected issue at work or one of your kids comes home with an unexpected issue or they trigger you in a way that just catches you off guard. I mean, that's whatever happens. Lord, help me to conduct myself in a manner worthy of the gospel of Jesus Christ. That is such a huge responsibility because when I think of conducting myself in a manner worthy of the gospel, I think that means that I just can't lose my temper. I can't fly off the handle. I can't just spit words out my mouth without thinking about them or processing them. I can't just act in a way that just causes people to think that the gospel means nothing. To think that the gospel changes nothing in your life. If you just continue, if I just continue to act like the world and to just live like the world lives and respond like the world responds, talk like the world talks, you know, the gospel isn't going to be perceived as very worthy. Now, if you've been a Christian for any length of time, you know that the gospel is worthy. It is worthy of, of all of the energy, all of our tenacity to, to stick with it, to live it out, you know, to pursue it. Living out the gospel is not something that you're just going to do by accident. Okay, living out the gospel, especially in a manner worthy of Jesus Christ, is going to take effort. It's going to take intentionality. It's going to take determination and discipline and commitment and dedication. So when people think that they can just become a Christian and life is going to be grand and nothing bad is ever going to happen and nothing that is, that is frustrating and irritating is ever going to come into our lives again. That is wrong. That is not the gospel at all. That is wishful thinking. That is just wanting life to be easy, wanting life to be something that it's not. Now listen, life should be joyful. I mean, when we have the Lord in our life, we can face situations that we couldn't otherwise face without him, right? And so we're going to have this inner peace, this inner joy that really carries us through unpleasant circumstances or situations. And nothing is going to change that. Our relationship with the Lord is not going to cause our life to become perfect, okay? So I think if we can just get past that and understand that there are going to be things that come into our life that is going to be difficult, that is going to cause us pain and heartache and frustration and irritation, but we must respond in a manner worthy of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And when we get that in our, in our heads, but really in our hearts and start to live that out, we're going to understand, we're going to see that living out this Christian life is, is not just talk, right? It's not just claiming or proclaiming that you're a Christian. Like there's action that has to be followed by our words of, of commitment, by our, our words of confession that we confess the Lord Jesus Christ to be Savior and 
Lord of our life. When he is Lord of our life, we are going to conduct ourselves in a manner worthy of the Lord Jesus Christ. And how are we going to do that? By relying on the Lord, by relying on the, the Holy Spirit who lives on the inside of us, by relying on his word. That is how the Lord is going to help us live a life worthy of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I hope that word encourages you today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much, Lord, for your word. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. And we thank you that you help us to live a life that is worthy of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And Lord, that is not easy. But with you, all things are possible. In our own strength, we can never live a life that was worthy of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So Lord, we just thank you so much for your strength, for, for your power that lives on the inside of us, Lord, to help us do it. Lord, we just thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope that word encourages you. If it does, please like and share and subscribe and leave me a comment so that we can continue this discussion. And don't forget to stop back by here next Wednesday because I'll have another encouraging word for Wednesday. And also subscribe to my newsletter below so that I will send you a reminder so that you never miss an encouraging word. All right, take care. God bless.